hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Fiola unlimited I know it's been a while yeah I miss you guys too yeah today 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 I am going to be talking about my experience today well if you're joining us here for the first time you're very welcome it's so good to have you around today I'll be sharing my experience with you I'll be sharing my experience with you guys when planning your wedding things you should know and things the do's and don'ts did I say that right the thing where you supposed to and the thing where you know supposed to now the thing where they talk with that do's and don'ts do's and don'ts do and don'ts you understand the English where they speak I mean you understand the thing where they try yarn you yes so i'm going to be sharing my experience today guys yeah so let's go okay in case you're wondering i know you'll be thinking when did she get married yeah recently yes recently yeah guys i got married to mr a recently yeah and i'm a proud wife of mr Adit. so guys when planning a wedding it can be really stressful especially when you're doing it by yourself when you don't have somebody assisting you, it can be really stressful. Man, you can go crazy trying to just plan your wedding alone. So you might be needing people around you. You would need people to support you. You would need people that you can call. You can send them on an errand to quickly try and do some runs for you. I mean... They should help you go to this place to go and ask something for you, to go and make inquiries for you. You'll be needing people to help you. So I have noted some things down. So in case you see me looking down, up, down, up, down. I'm trying to just check my notes, guys, okay? All right. Um, some things you should do even before you, like, start, start. Those are the things that you need to, like, prep down. I'm actually going to be sharing this from my own personal experience. So, number one, settle things with your family and church. <laughs> you see, this thing is very important, okay? You need to settle things with your family. You need to settle things with the church. One, let me start with the family. You see, we have different kind of family. Hmm? Some, they have like their own beliefs okay they have their own belief like this is the way we want things to be if you are somebody that you don't want like a big wedding where they are larry wo, like bow, bow, jiggin, jiggin, do, 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 bow, bow, bow. <clears throat> and your parents in their mind they are already planning how they will ah hey ginger oh ginger you know that kind of thing <laughs> you need to settle stuff like that with your family members that's one thing one thing that you need to say to you need to like talk to them call them one-on-one -on -one to tell them that mommy you daddy me you feel where you are like you feel where you are like like i don't want an elaborate wedding i don't want something like too elaborate i just want something that is just decent small something you can just do like having like 50 people or maybe 20 yeah so that's one thing you need to settle okay number two another thing you need to know to settle i mean is like settle things with your family in the sense that what kind of family did you come from are they the kind of family that like take tradition in high esteem like uh for instance some families before a wife can come into their family they have to go and wash the wife's feet wash the feet make sure that she's sanctified that's tradition for some families and your husband or your wife may not believe in that so you have to settle things with your family ah this wife that i'm bringing you or this husband that is coming into my house so they don't believe in things like this. You understand? Ah, uh, mommy and daddy you won't believe in things like this. So therefore, I'm not saying that's what happened in my family. I'm just saying that you should say to things that can actually cause hula balu. 
yeah <laughs> that can cause a lot of trouble when trying to plan wedding wedding can be frustrating sometimes when you're planning it or it can be sweet at the same time depending on the kind of spoon where you use pack and for the pots you get yeah okay guys so now let's go to church you see some church and eh, they like to they cause trouble for people we won't marry mm. they just like her from inside their mind make the they cause trouble say eh, eh, you have to do the wedding in church eh, you have to wear this type of gown if this gown is not this in this dimension or is not is in this high esteem or is not is not flowing or is is too flowing is too short it's too long ah what happened kilo little yeah so, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm a church goer, but when church are just trying to prove a point or just trying to stress you when, when you, you, you planning your wedding, some churches say, give them a uh, hundred days notice, give them, I know that churches have plans. Yes, I know, but sometimes they need to like consider some things. Or consider people some people for marriage counseling because that is very important for you to go through a marriage counseling class I must tell you but um some people will be living in like if you're in Lagos living in Aja or maybe on the island and you want to go to your wife's church for marriage counseling and they're gonna tell you guys to come to some water states you come there and you go home the next I mean that same day going to going to church maybe Sunday you went on Saturday and you're going to your church on Sunday like it's so stressful it is so stressful some people they might tell them to like home every day or maybe like twice in a week see that journey who oh, are stressful plus you are planning your wedding too Okay, let's go to like registry, doing church, wedding. Some churches will be like, you have to like do in our church. You can't go to the registry. Doing wedding in church and doing in the registry, is it not the same thing? It's not. For some churches, it is not. Because the reason why I'm saying it's not is because some churches are not registered under the federal government of Nigeria. So if they give you a certificate, be careful. Because you have to find out all these things. You have to be really careful. You have to be really careful to make sure that the certificate you're getting from churches are legit i mean they are registered you are collecting the one that is registered that the church themselves are registered under the government and they can issue they can issue you a marriage certificate it's not the one that the church is just doing on their own they are giving you local one or the one that is not it's not the right one so you have to be really you have to be really careful when you, I'm not trying to criticize or anything. I'm just talking a little bit from experience. And if I would recommend um, these, I would recommend you to go to the registry. Then they can do a certificate presentation in the church to make your life easier. Because in case when you want to travel to Bodo Yimbo, you want to travel abroad, Sha. In the nearest future, embassy no go collect a ordinary certificate from you. They will collect the one where federal government give ikoi registry for people that are coming from Nigeria or for Nigerians. You understand me? All right, that's another uh, since we are one for you. Okay, so <clears throat> another thing we are want to talk is the. <laughs> Bring for your husband or your wife the kind of family they are coming into, okay? You need to, like, tell yourself, you see, <clears throat> in my family, when you're coming in, they expect that you do this, you do that. You pay your dues here, 
you prostrate here, you go and see so super sin, you go and see so super sin. Don't just throw your partner in darkness and, and start allowing them to be figuring out some things, you know. I want to say I'm guilty, kind of, but it's easy. <laughs> but I think um, you should try and brief them the kind of family where they're coming to, so that you know, go be like, say, ah. Uh -uh. What did they do this guy now? What did they do your wife? Why your wife they do like this? So what did they do this guy? Ah, this guy don't do proper blah blah blah. They they, they call family meeting with top your husband or wife, and you no go like ah. So it's good for you to brief your partner and tell them that this is the kind of family you're coming into. When you're coming in today, um, prostrate this way, greet them this way. This is the first person you should greet. Say this to this give this money to this person give social amount to this set to the children at home uh come see my parents go to my aunt's house so you need to brief them and don't put them in darkness you know these are the things you should still do when planning your wedding you know okay another point is that financially you have to be ready okay um you know some people when you're planning your wedding they'll be promising you uh i will give you this i'll give you that i'll pay for the all i will give you two thousand chairs i'll bring your speaker i will donate this i will donate that you see if you put your mind on all those things you know all this kind of chairs i want chairs to check me all these chairs that two legs will be good Another one, the remaining two, they are not right. <laughs> like they are, they are shaking. And you, you now want to sit down on it. The way you will fall, eh? Ah, ah. I want to share too. Yes, I was hoping you want to your story, keke. Keke too, yes, eh? Can be like that sometimes. Because it's not everybody. And I've promised you that I will give you virtually. Some I actually give you maybe after your wedding. And some, you know what to eventually. So you have to be financially ready. You know, that's people that promise. Some people is their husband that will promise, ah, I'm going to take charge of everything. That's a good thing. And they will take charge of everything. But you still need to put something in your pocket i've been at your mama born the guy you won't kill him make it carry everything what do you come on to what do you want contribute you guys contribute something you can't kill him you can't put all the body on his head he should come and carry it because he wants to come and marry you ah uh -uh. even if you are the queen of the queen of england you know what you're supposed to support your man you know at least have something in your pocket to like support if they want to buy something or you need to pay for something especially for people that have eye taste <laughs> like me you can't just bring any out design or any out cloth and come and tell me to come and be here or buy no uh, no i won't take that so if you have eye taste and you are relying on another person's son say make him come pay for everything you see that weight where you get, yeah, I, I have a taste. I want the whole world to know that I'm doing I want to buy this $2,000. Eh. I want to buy it. If you have your money, it's fine. You, if you have the money. But if you are just like still on the middle class and you have that kind of taste. <laughs> And you want to put all the body on top the man we won't come marry you. You need to sit right. You see, you need to sit right. You need to sit right because if you on that share where you won't sit. Except your husband they work for Chevron for this America or another place where the money they standard, but where the money no they sit like that, and you know. You see, the way where you go you go sit right because that chair where you sit down we no get leg very well. As it's your weight, like the way you sit down on it, you go just the way where you go fall, eh? Go surprise you. 
go surprise because you know go, you know go fit him man man be king. If now you born the boy call, you go allow one person call kill a carry out the body and they go see buy all the things for your family members kill you <laughs> Ah Lord, okay, so let's go to the next one. Yeah, so the last but not the least before I leave, I'll be talking about vendors. You see those vendors, ninja vendors. You see, you need to like, like few months before your wedding, you need to start searching for vendors. Like, look at the work that they've done. Ask them for pictures of their previous work, what they've done before. Like, you want to see them. And if you are satisfied with the work, then you can give them the contract. Like, okay, fine, I'll pay you. But if you did not see the work that they've done before, and you somebody run one auntie, I'm sorry, ah, ah, mo mori, oh mo mini, I know this person. She does, ah, she does what? She can do what? Well, the way they would. Sorry for the breaking transmission, my mom called. Okay, so as I was saying, that one auntie is coming to come and tell you that, eh, ah. That girl that is doing makeup artist. Ah, mom, oh, I know this person. Ah, they do good job. Ah, they, she's the one that did my uh, makeup last week. And they cannot produce any picture. <laughs> See, the way they will drop more crayon on your face. Ah, you will even want to be seeing your wedding picture again. Or you hire them for your mom or for somebody or your mother-in-law or your bride, chief bridesmaid or your bridesmaid. You need to be like very careful with all those makeup artists. Talk about fuck one crayon. You know what? One crayon. They will draw it like this, like pussy cats. You know all those girls in Jennifer's diary. Yes. You see their makeup. That's the way it will look. They will draw it like that. Afa, afa eyebrow yeah. eye shadow yeah. I will also know you to go. To the yours dates and another one to Ibado. Yes. And maybe your <laughs> concealer and everything. They will be meeting themselves in the Oju River or River or you Nino, know, those states. Understand what I mean? So you have to be like very careful with like uh, your vendors, especially makeup artists. Now let me move to the second one. Uh the Coreto. The wood I used to put flower around. You see, when you ask them that, can you send me like pictures of your previous work? Or maybe like the work that you've done before. All these people, they are very smart. They will look for one place that is very fine and take the pictures. Or all those ones that photographer has taken that is very good. They will take it, snap, and send it to you as a, this is a previous work. I have to be very careful. I have to be very careful. Some of them, they will just do low budget work for you. Low budget. When you get there, daddy, you will not be looking at. Is this what I paid for? Like, is this what I paid the ABA for? Is this what I paid for? So you won't want to be disappointed on your wedding day. Like, oh my god, this. This decorator just like spoil everything for me, or you are not just satisfied with what the person has done. So you have to be like very careful. Especially all those ones that will be giving themselves. Ah, uh, they do this, they do that. We do gilly, we do ashok, we do makeup artists, we do this, we did. All those people that do a lot of things, like fifty things together. Mm. Very careful. I do a lot of things too, but <laughs> I still have specialization. So you have to be very careful. You have to be very careful. I don't want to count up. <laughs> you have to be very careful so that that day you will not be shocked. Like you know when they remove shock from somebody's uh from somebody's car, or you just want to sit down and they just remove the chair. Or they just carry the shit away like that. Yeah, yeah. So don't let them shock you, you know. Don't let them shock you. So let me see which other ones that I have here. 
Okay, that's all that I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this talk. I hope you've learned something. In case you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Just click the subscribe button and the notification bell. There's one bell like that there. Just click. Click on. Yeah, click. So that you will get more of my videos, okay? Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate you. I love you. Bye.